Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can achieve the green screen effect where you can literally place yourself in front of any background that you like without the need to have an actual green screen. And you can literally set it up anywhere in your house, like in your basement, in your garage, even in tight spaces like your bathroom for instance where you normally wouldn't even have enough space to set up a green backdrop. Check this out. Pretty cool, right? And this tip is especially useful right now in these times where everybody's kind of stuck at home anyway. So let's get started. Okay, so as I can see right now, I'm actually in my basement. It's a very dark room, so I have just my key light right here and the entirety of the room is filled with all different sorts of groceries, but I have found a one wall behind me. There's a white wall and it's actually a corner. I have a white door here, so it's definitely not even an even wall. So in order to pull off the green screen effect, what I need is essentially just a white wall. And like you see, it doesn't need to be a perfectly flat wall and an RGB light. Like for instance, this Aperture MC, which I can absolutely recommend to anybody. This is an excellent light, it has a ton of functionalities, but it doesn't need to be this light. All that matters is that you need a light that can project a green light on a white wall. So essentially what I do, if I turn it on, you can see it's pretty bright and it's pretty green. I have set it up to hue 130 degrees and saturation 100% and intensity 100%. It is important that saturation is at 100% because you want to have the most intense color on the wall but intensity doesn't need to be at 100% because what you need to look out for is that you don't blow any highlights. For instance, right here, I am probably blowing the highlights, but I'm gonna put on this diffuser, which will kind of dim it down and it will bring it down to the acceptable levels because if you clip, it doesn't matter if the light is green because if you clip it, if you clip the highlights, it will just appear white in camera. So you need to make sure that you are casting green light onto the wall and in order to get the best effects you want to make sure that the light is as uniform as possible. If you have only one light, consider using a tighter lens, like for instance right here I have a 35mm and the camera is like uh, at arm's length of, from my face. So let me set up this light, let's put on the diffuser. Now we're going to mount this mini tripod from Joby, again links below if you want to pick one up. And then I'm going to just position this line behind me in a way that it kind of evenly lit this white wall. And right now there is myself lit by the key light from above and from the side and the green RGB light casting green light onto the white wall, which we will color grade later in Premiere Pro to have a very vivid green color that we will be able to then key out with the ultra key effect. So let's jump into Premiere Pro right now. Okay, so now in Premiere Pro, in order to have the best results with the ultra key effect, in order to remove the background, what you need to do is first you need to color grade this footage because you want to make sure that the green in the background is actually very uniform. It is ideally the same kind of hue in the same kind of very tight range of the hue. And then you want to make sure that it's kind of equalized in brightness. So what you can do is you can use the Lumetri effect and the HSL secondary settings in order to target several patches of the green. For instance, right here, I have brighter green. Right here in the corners, I have a little bit dimmer green. So I can use the HSL secondary and you can even stack up those effects. If you need to target the bright green first and then a little bit darker green, you can use several Lumetri effects on top of each other. You can just go to this drop down, add Lumetri effect, and then you have another set of HSL secondary tools. And you need to make sure that the green in the background, like I said before, is kind of equal and kind of evenly spread out across the background of your shot. Then you need to nest this clip. And then after you nest it, go to the effects and search for the ultra key effect. Once you drop the ultra key effect onto the clip, click on the color picker and then pick on the green color in the background. And depending on how evenly lit the wall behind you actually was, the better or worse the initial effects will be. But you can actually go here into the settings and in this first section, there are these four main settings that you can tweak around in order to finesse the effect. And right here in this dropdown, you can actually set the alpha channel in order to see what is actually being removed and what is being kept in your shot. Everything that is white is being kept 
and everything that is black is being removed. So you want to make sure that your face, the silhouette of you, your hands while you gesture, etc. is pure white, ideally, and everything in the background is pure black because this will be removed eventually by the ultra key effect. So right here with this option selected, you can move around those sliders and get to a very good result. And if you have some patches of the background that are not removed or something, you can always go back inside the nest and then tweak around the color grade in order to get the same amount of green in every portion of the background so that the ultra key removes everything. And one final tip that I might have is that ideally you should use a lens with as wide of an aperture as possible because that way you will be in focus and the background will be blurred out. So anything on the walls that might not have been perfectly even like I said in the beginning of the video will be kind of blurred out by the natural bokeh that the lens would introduce in your shot. So that was basically it for me for today. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up down below and comment down below what do you think about my technique. Is it pretty smart that I don't even need to have a green screen in order to pull off this effect? I am very excited for this, so let me know down below. And also consider subscribing to the channel because there will definitely be more videos like this, more tips and tricks regarding filmmaking, photography also. I also make all sorts of tutorials around Adobe products like Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Lightroom, etc. So definitely consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on future videos. But that's it for now. Have a good day. See you next time and bye bye.